This is the Beechcraft Denali, a pressurized single engine turboprop aimed squarely at the market for the Pilatus PC-12. The Denali is single pilot capable, can seat up to 10 passengers, and is also the first certified aircraft to fly with the new 1300 shaft horsepower GE Catalyst engine. Will Beechcraft be able to overthrow Pilatus PC-12? Today we're going inside the Beechcraft Denali to talk about everything you need to know about this amazing aircraft. The aircraft's forward air stair door comes standard with a gas spring counterbalance and a solid folding handrail, while the cargo's door's closing mechanism is electronically controlled. The Beechcraft Denali will continue to deliver class-leading passenger experience with a flat floor cabin designed to be the largest in its segment. This layout offers the versatility to easily convert between passenger and cargo configurations as required. In fact, the aircraft's square oval-shaped fuselage uses all metal construction to create a flat floor cabin 4 feet 10 inches or 1.47 meters tall, 5 feet 3 inches or 1.6 meters wide, and 16 feet 9 inches or 5.1 meters long. In its standard passenger format, the Denali boasts a seating configuration of six individual reclining seats with the option of a nine-place high-density seating layout. It also offers passengers the convenience of adjusting the cabin temperature and airflow from a climate control switch panel located on the cabin side wall. The cabin incorporates large windows, interior LED lighting, a forward refreshment cabinet, and an in-flight accessible baggage compartment. Cessna's designers deserve kudos for developing a cabin with smooth, clean lines, curved side rails, robust sidewall tables, and attractive single seats with arms that retract into the backs, creating an even more spacious feeling. Options also include an externally serviceable belted lavatory with pocket door enclosure in the aft of the cabin. The company has applied lessons learned from the new mid-sized Latitude jet to the cabin of the Denali, which is more like what you'd expect to find in a private jet than in a turboprop. The externally serviceable aft laboratory is a previously unheard of feature on a business class turboprop. The aircraft also features a 53 by 59 inch or 1.35 by 1.5 meter rear cargo door which is slightly larger than the one on the PC-12, and a digital pressurization system that maintains a cabin altitude of 6,130 feet or 1,870 meters when flying at 31,000 feet or 9,450 meters. Denali's cockpit comes with Garmin's G3000 avionics suite which offers three 14-inch diagonal widescreen LCD displays as well as two touchscreen control panels. The G3000 delivers synthetic vision, dual flight management systems with WAAS-enabled GPS receivers, dual transponders with ADS-B in and out, and digital weather radar. The system also includes a terrain awareness and warning system, traffic collision and avoidance system, dual air data computers, and a digital cockpit audio system. A Garmin spokesperson said that Denali's G3000 will also add engine instrumentation and CAS messaging depicting operating parameters, in addition to voice recognition and Bluetooth connectivity for the flight deck. The Denali's Garmin voice command uses automatic speech recognition technology to reduce pilot workload for some common cockpit task. The Denali's interior design efforts in the cockpit are a product of the same Textron teams in Wichita that create the rich feel inside Cessna's high-end jet aircraft. The lush leather seats are quite comfortable and easy to adjust. Cessna worked hard to eliminate as many switches and knobs in the cockpit as possible, allowing the touchscreen controller to handle many tasks, such as radio communications and flight data entry and updating. The instrument panel is all black, as are the lower side panels, making the cockpit's clean lines resemble those of an expensive sports car. Once seated, everything you need to operate the airplane is in easy reach, such as the landing gear handle on the left side of the power lever. Cockpit visibility seems to be pretty good too. 
The Denali features both an electric and a manual trim system. An important Denali feature is the single power lever and propeller control used to manage the 1300 shaft horsepower GE Catalyst engine that Cessna says will deliver a jet-like experience to pilots. Talking about performance, a significant part of the Denali's performance will be due to the new GE Catalyst engine, which the company has been working on since 2013. The Denali will be the first certified aircraft to fly with the new 1300 shaft horsepower turboprop power plant. The initial time between overhaul interval will be 4,000 hours. The Denali also uses dual fully automatic digital engine controls to provide the proper fuel flow and propeller control to the Macaulay's new 105 inch diameter composite. Five blade constant speed propeller which is full feathering with reversible pitch and ice protection. The engine also includes an electronic backup with the dual channel FEDEC. The FEDEC not only offers engine overspeed, over temperature and over torque protections, but also eases pilot workload by offering a single button engine start and of course that previously mentioned single lever power control. Paul Corkery, GE's general manager for turboprops, says the Catalyst engine is the first clean sheet turboprop designed to be mass manufactured in 30 years. For GE, a clean sheet design meant just that, Corkery says. GE is leveraging the knowledge the company has gained over the past few decades of building engines for the commercial airline side of the industry, such as versions of the Boeing 777 and 787. Corkery says the higher compression ratio should deliver a 15 to 20% better fuel burn. In addition to more power available at higher altitudes with the catalyst, there's also a 20 pound weight savings over an engine created using conventional construction techniques. This new engine is able to push the aircraft to a maximum cruise speed of 285 knots and up to a maximum cruising altitude of 31,000 feet or 9,450 meters, with an estimated average hourly fuel burn of 60 gallons or 230 liters per hour. The Denali has a maximum four-passenger range of 1,600 nautical miles, which is 1,841 miles or 2,960 kilometers. The plane can take off in 2,950 feet or 900 meters and has an estimated minimum landing distance of 2,600 to 3,000 feet or 800 to 915 meters, all while maintaining a full fuel payload of 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms. The base purchase price for the new Denali is $4.8 million before options and the estimated charter price ranges between $2,800 and $3,400 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.